And then he eats blackened everything, blackened redfish, blackened this, black. he blackens everything. Since Paul Prudhomme got into that blackened stuff, blackened drum heads. <laughs> uh, he's a marvelous drummer and I'm proud to have him in, in the band. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Bobby Bro. Bro. B-R-E-A-U-X. Well, that's as coon-ass Cajun as it gets, I'll tell you that. <laughs> tell, tell him that joke you told me last week? Huh? That coon-ass joke? <laughs> He's got an uncle that's a deputy sheriff on Bayou Lafourche down there. This is a true story. And his name is Pete. He's kind of fat. They all call him Voodoo. Voodoo Pete. And he sits in the in his little patrol car, he's got the seat all sprung out, you know, and he sits back there with his sunglasses on, waiting for people to speed on the bayou. And he's sitting there one day, and he sees this big, big, long car with those, you know, those dark windows. Man, he goes cutting by him. So Boodoo turns on his siren, and he's gone behind him. And he catches him, and he pulls him over. And he goes by the window, he says, roll that window down there. He said, hey, man. You can't speed by, by the bayou like that. We got little children's play here. He said, where you from? The guy said, I'm from Boston. He said, yeah? Well, if you're from Boston, what you doing with that Massachusetts license plate on your car? <laughs> and then, then Buru said, look, man, he said, let me see you drive a license. So the guy got his license out, and Voodoo looked at it, and he said, Ah, oh, damn, man, you in some trouble now? Nah, yeah, I can guarantee you that. Look what that driver license said. It says, you must wear your eyeglass all the time. And I'm looking right in your face, and you ain't got no eyeglass on. Where's your eyeglass? The guy said, I got contact. He said, I don't give a damn who you know. You're going to jail. <laughs> They all talk like that. Him too. And next I want you to meet our bass player who's been with me, oh, so many years. And, <laughs> and he's a fine player and he's a fine musician. And until a short while ago he taught at Loyola University in New Orleans. But uh, he got a little snag there, you know. I went there one day and he was behind the sign saying, psst, little girls. I mean, <laughs> No, he, he taught some unsuspecting teenage girls how to play the bass. I'm kidding, he's a good family man. But he don't, he don't swear, he don't curse, he don't smoke, he don't drink. Jesus, he's a real drag to be out with him. His name, ladies and gentlemen, is Bill Huntington. That's Bill Huntington on the bass. Oh, I got to tell you something else. Uh, the you know the bass player was out here before? A great bass player. His name is Kevin. And Kevin loaned Bill his bass to play, the upright. Because we like the upright much better. But, but Bill brought his, uh, his Fender bass, you know? And, man, if you got a chance with the upright, you don't want the Fender. But we have a problem taking that big upright in the airplane, you know? A lot of times the captain say, hey, you can't put that in the airplane. You got to duck it under the thing and all that. And you got to pay the regular price for a seat. And hell, they, you know, when they pass around the martinis and all, you don't get none for the base. <laughs> no olives. <laughs> no olives. He digs the olives. Uh, and the last but not least, certainly, ladies and gentlemen, from Dallas, Texas, is our pianist, a uh, prematurely gray. And uh, <laughs> no, he's not that old. He's aggravated. It's <laughs> but he's a composer and he's an arranger and he, a lot of the college bands and high school bands play his arrangements and uh, he's a really fine musician and especially good jazz pianist ladies and gentlemen David Zala it's David Zala <laughs> Now I'm going to turn you over to Zala and Huntington and Brew. 
They're going to play a little jazz thing for you while the leader rests.
Okay, that's enough. Cool it, cool it. Jesus, you know, you get carried away and they're going to be bugging me for a raise. That was great, fellas. Anybody know the name of that tune they played? Yeah, boy, they got some old timers in here. Cherry, boy, that's, that's it. I didn't know you were that old. You, that's a, that's a hell of a tune, brother. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We call him Count Spacey at the piano. <laughs> <laughs>